Thank you for joining us and welcome to our new channel, Mycology Exploration. I am the wife and I'm the husband. We've been married for over 20 years with decades of organic gardening experience. More recently, we have become obsessed with mycology, the study of fungi, more specifically, home mycology made easy. In this video, we're going to share our favorite sanitization techniques that we believe have given us instant results. We believe genetics, nutrition, technique, environment, and sanitization are the key factors of being successful. That being said, we're going to focus on sanitization and sterilization in this video. One thing we're not going to be showing you in this video is air quality and air filters that we use. However, if you want us to share that in another video, just leave a comment below and we would be happy to do so. However, your air quality, um, if you're doing this from home, is really important. So we use a really high-end 3M air filter that you can change every three months. However, we change it monthly. Many times we will change it before we do agar transfers so that our air is nice and purified and clean and that it filters on a spore level. We will also be sharing this DIY alcohol lamp that we have created ourselves for pennies <laughs> for sanitization of our tools and utensils as we are transferring and cloning. We have found having 70% and 90% or greater alcohol along with new paper towels right out of the package are perfect for making your own alcohol swabs. The 70% can go straight into a glass spray bottle to disinfect your area, your work area, your stale air box, all your utensils, any petri dishes. You do not need to dilute 70% alcohol. However, if you have 90% or greater, you absolutely can dilute that with distilled or purified water for a spray bottle. 90% or greater works great on paper towels to create your own alcohol swabs. We use an Instapot Duo Crisp with both the pressure cooker and the dehydrator option. With this Instapot Duo Crisp model, the pressure cooker option fluctuates between 13 and 15 PSI. The dehydrator option on this Instapot is well worth it. We love this kitchen appliance. It has been a great addition, even the air fryer. However, with mycology and medicinal mushrooms, having this pressure cooking option with the dehydrator was well worth the money. Professionals use an autoclave to sterilize scientific and surgical equipment before use through pressure-induced high temperatures, which is, in effect, a professional pressure cooker. We're going to add a link down in the description and the comments to an article from Dakota State University where they did a study on the Instapot. And only the Instapot was able to effectively sterilize against certain spores, certain bacterias. And we're going to put that link down below for you. It was really exciting to read this after we have already discovered this for ourselves. So it was scientifically proven that the Instapot was an appropriate choice for a laboratory pressure cooker. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when we have new videos for you. Thank you so very much for joining us. Thanks for hitting that like button. Thank you for sharing and leave a comment on the videos that you would like to see from us.